it's time for your sports faith game of the week. Here's Luke Crawl. He's going to line up a straight on three, and he splashed it. An 8 0 run. Sherwood catch, fire left wing, and he drills the triple. Then pulled it back, and now Crawl has it left wing. Brightman steps into a top of the key jumper, and nothing but nylon. With the hippest. Good motion here. Sherwood just catch, fires, and fills it up from the right corner by Quimby. And now here's a pass intercepted. It's Haynes again. He stepped in front of Sherwood. He's going to go right at Sherwood. Oh, and Alex stopped him. Alex sure with a big time block throw ahead. Haley lead feed layup right hand spinner's good. Now it's time to send it over to your host and play by play announcer, Craig Bone. And it sounds like we were having some sound issues. I apologize, our audio was down. But we should be back up and running as the Xavier Hawks trying to keep pace with the West Pier Phantoms. 
13 and one the Hawks are overall and it'll be Dylan Wirtz in his third year. Lucky Wirtz, his father on the bench this evening as an assistant along with John Milkey and of course Matt Klarner in his 13th year at the helm here at Xavier. And what a career it's been. 265 wins, 62 losses. Ranked number seven in Division Three, coming into the ball game tonight. And the Menasha Blue Jays will get one of their leaders back, the 6'2 junior, Travion Lockridge. Back in the mix tonight, hasn't played since the first time these two teams met, which took place back on December 8th as Xavier with a comfortable 89-54 win and they shot the ball extremely well in that ball game. 35 of 64 from the field and they out-rebounded the Blue Jays 43-25. So very impressive they were that particular evening as we're going to step aside in our North Star Dental Group pregame show and when we come back we're going to hear from head coach Matt Klarner and we'll hear from North Star Dental Group first and then we'll hear from Coach Klarner on our pregame interview. You're getting set for Manasha and Xavier tonight on Sports Faith YouTube. Wait, how many times do I have to come back? Personal foul, too many appointments. You should have gone to No Star Dental. Dr. Pete and his team have experience and with today's technology can do more dentistry in just one visit. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental. And dental implants should last a lifetime. Whether you need a single tooth replacement or a full mouth reconstruction, you can get it all done here under one roof. North Star Dental, changing your life by changing your smile. And we're now joined by head coach Matt Klarner of the Hawks, a busy week of Bay Conference action, and it starts with Menasha tonight at home and in Thursday night against West Pier. Coach, welcome in. It's been seven days already, a 70-44 victory over Seymour. You get yourself seven more days off, and now you prep for two big Bay Conference games, uh, seven conference games left. Let's talk about the final stretch here as we as we come down the stretch, as we almost get to February, and then uh, we'll talk about Menasha a little bit tonight. Well, you know, we've had a little bit of a lull in the schedule. As you know, we had a couple of weeks off uh, due to the weather and then uh, obviously just had one game uh, last week and then one game the week before. So we've had a little bit of a slower schedule. It's been, a, you know, been a chance for guys to rest and hopefully get healthy and kind of dial in for this stretch run. But this stretch run is going to be pretty intense. So we're going to have to bring it every single night. I think we've got basically 10 games left and there are, you know, three weeks left. So 10 games in three weeks is going to be a – busy a busy couple of uh, weeks for our kids but you know what our kids are ready for that they've been preparing for this they're in good shape mentally and they're in a good spot and I expect them to go out and play well obviously it's tough to play that many games and that few nights but I think our guys will be ready to battle yeah you look at this schedule I mentioned it's busy this week not really next week's busier you're playing Monday Tuesday Friday Saturday and uh, one of those a non-conference matchup against Wittenberg Burnhamwood but let's talk about this Menasha team Dylan Wirtz at the controls, his father, Lucky Wirtz, on the bench as well. Very athletic team. We talk about Menasha. They have a ton of great athletes, but you guys really stymied them in the win in the first meeting. 19 of 53, Menasha shot it. You held them the 54 points. Uh, Tyler Brightman, just an absolute monster game. 22 points on 10 of 11 shooting. He really dominated inside in that ball game. Let's talk about this Menasha team, though. They can get up and down the court. Very athletic. They sometimes maybe don't move the ball that well. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff. But talk about some of the challenges, I guess, on the defensive end for you guys when you're playing against a team like Menasha. Yeah, I mean, we we prepared for them the first time. We knew that they were quicker than us, so we knew we had to, you know, provide team defense, and we needed to work together to keep the ball out of the lane and prevent them from getting those easy shots. And we did. And then, uh, as you just mentioned, we attacked them inside on the other end, and I think that that was definitely something that we did very well. Obviously, you see them a second time, and they're they're certainly uh, going to attack us off the dribble again and try to use their quickness to their advantage, and we're going to have to be ready to guard again. So, obviously, that, that challenge remains the same, and hopefully the guys will be up to that task. And I think, you know, you, well, maybe defensively they might try something different. We've attacked them inside, so maybe they'll come in and double team or, or collapse a little bit harder, and we'll have to make the extra pass, have to play on selfish basketball, and, 
and, you know, we'll do what we normally do, which is take the shots that the defense is going to give us. So, you know, I think uh, you know, it's, it's one of those games where we have to be at our best, and, and I think our guys will be ready to, to play well tonight. Yeah, you talk about rebounding 43 to 25 was the count for you guys in the last game. Did a really nice job uh, rebounding the basketball. But the number that stood out to me was 28 assists. That assist number, only five for Menasha. So I think that tells you a lot about how the ball gets moved. But 28 assists in a high school basketball game is unbelievable. And only seven turnovers. And you got yourself 11 steals defensively as well. So if those numbers are reflected at all in this game tonight, uh, you guys should come out on top and get yourself another win, uh, which would move you guys to 8-0 undefeated conference. Uh, let's talk about the Bay Conference. Obviously, West Appear, a game that you got coming up Thursday night. It's really turned into a two-team race. Obviously, New London and Seymour a couple of games back. But talk about just trying to get to this Bay Conference top of the hill, if you will, something that you guys have done uh, almost every year, actually, since uh, you guys moved over to the Bay Conference. But what's been the message to the kids coming down the stretch? Well, obviously, as as you mentioned, that's one of the goals we had at the beginning of the season. These guys uh, wanted to win the Bay Conference Championship. Our our seniors were contributors as uh, as sophomores, and we won a Bay Conference title. And then they were obviously the key components for us last year as juniors, winning a Bay Conference title. So I know it's super important to them. So we obviously have to keep playing well. The message to, to doing that is it's a 14-game marathon and you just have to focus on the game in front of you you know we just really have to be focused on tonight what do we have to do tonight what how do we how do we have to execute tonight and and just be ready to go tonight then we move on to the next challenge and obviously if you have a setback you, either way you got to move on to the next challenge right so um i think just keeping our mind where our feet are uh, right right where we are in front of us and just kind of looking at the game ahead of us if we can do that hopefully we have a chance to to get another huge conference win tonight and lastly i want to ask you about luke olhaf and Specifically, you know, you got your top guys as far as scoring is concerned, Tyler Brightman and Hayden Quimby, for instance. But let's talk about Luke's uh, game the other night, 19 points, career high. Uh, that shooting stroke, you know, it's been maybe a little bit up and down here and there during the year. But uh, talk about that shot the other night from beyond the line, five three-point buckets for Luke the other night. But talk about the importance of having him either as your fifth starter or sometimes coming off the bench as your sixth man. But I thought his shot the other night – was absolutely looking probably its best of, of the season. Yeah, Luke's a great shooter. We don't have any issues with that. We know he's going to shoot the ball. And, um, you know, I, I would say the speed of varsity game, and he's, you know, he's had some games where he's maybe rushed a little bit or hasn't found his shot as well. And that's that's part of, you know, being a, being a junior and part of just kind of, you know, playing a varsity basketball game. But he, we have confidence in him. We want him to continue to shoot the ball. We know he's going to continue to shoot the ball well. To Luke's credit, you know, the, he's he's had that in his, in his repertoire for a few years now. What we really want to do is 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 continue to him working on the rest of his game. He's finishing inside better. He's passing the ball better. He's screening and and defending better. And uh, as those skills all evolve, you know, he's he's a guy who's I think really has all conference potential and just has to continue to to work on his skills, work on his game. You know, to his credit, great kid, works hard every single day, trying to get better at the things he knows he needs to get better at. And it's really just been fun to see him progress during the season. Yeah, you look at his numbers, they're really jumping nicely. 38% now from three, 45% from the field. But obviously, he's going to be a key player, not only this year, but as a senior next year. He's going to be one of your leaders, without a doubt. That'll do it for our pregame interview with Matt Klarner. Thanks, Scott, Coach, for joining us, and uh, good luck tonight against Menasha. Thank you. All right, Head Coach Matt Klarner of the Hawks. We'll be back with starting lineups and tonight's tip. It's Menasha and Xavier on Sports Faith. Who would you rather face? A 240-pound football player running at you full speed or a dentist? Let Dr. Pete and the team at North Star Dental make your experience worry-free. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental Group, and our patients' safety and comfort come first. That's why we offer sedation dentistry. No stress, no worries. Go home with that beautiful smile, usually in just one visit. If you think that's too good to be true, give us a call. North Star Dental changing your life by changing your smile. And welcome back to our North Star Dental Group pregame show. Craig Bone with you on Sports Faith YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our Sports Faith YouTube channel and we'll notify you when we go live. And we'll be on next Thursday night right back here. It'll be West of Pier and Xavier in a Big Bay Conference showdown. And we want to thank our fine sponsors once again, North Star Dental Group in Appleton and in Sheboygan and OSMS. 
Tonight's game brought to you by Let Me Be Frank Productions. Head over to MeyerTheater.org for your tickets today by Georgia Steakhouse since 1939. Call them today, 920-733-4939 for reservations. And by Cheryl Quimby Real Estate, Keller Williams Group of the Fox Cities. If you're looking to buy or sell your home, look no further than Cheryl Quimby with Keller Williams Group of the Fox Cities. Call her today, 920-224-3061, where she is committed to excellence. And by Cardin Coin Corner, Packer City Antiques, owner-operator Mike Waracek, 2208 South Ridge Road in Green Bay. And by NAI Pfefferly, the largest full-service commercial property management north of Milwaukee. And by NAI Pfefferly, the commercial brokerage company that specializes in selling and leasing of commercial real estate. And by the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley, the Family Fund Center, 2929 Allied Street in Green Bay. And by Mr. Reinebo's Cookies. By PRN Home Health and Therapy. By Forefront Dermatology. By Gallagher's Pizza of Green Bay to Pier Alloway and Suamico. And by the driveway, the Basketball Training Center. And by Jeff's Water Conditioning and Greenville Plumbing. Best price, best service, best choice. And our hometown sponsor tonight, the Xavier Booster Club, wishing the Hawks good luck tonight. And they are a proud supporter of all Xavier High School sports teams and athletes. And go Hawks. And we have the color guard here this evening as we get set for the national anthem. Glad you could join us. And Jonah Gentry now. And the Menasha Blue Jays being introduced as the American Legion Color Guard and some of our Coast Guard veterans as well. 
out here for the national anthem as John Claude McComey along with Josiah Hibbler being introduced to this crowd. Parker Wynant, the 5'11 junior, will get a start. As will Taden Wilkie, a 5'10 freshman. Dylan Wirtz in his third year. 30 wins, 37 losses. The fifth starter was Jacob Koopman, a six foot sophomore, averaging six points per ball game. The Blue Jays come in averaging 58 points a game, 40% field goal shooting team, 64 from the line, 31% Beyond the three-point arc, they average 11 and a half turnovers per ball game, and they do get out-rebounded 30 to 21. So that is an area that we'll keep an eye on tonight. As we're expecting Travion Lockridge to come off the bench tonight for the Blue Jays, and it'll be Sam Pfefferly. The 6-2 senior leading the Bay Conference in assists. And Hayden Quimby going to join him in the backcourt. 12 and a half points per game. Nine points a week ago against Seymour. And another guard, it'll be the six foot three senior Luke Kroll. Had his season high 17 against Manasseh the last time they met. And it's Tyler Brightman, 6'5", senior. 14 points a game, almost nine rebounds. And Luke Olhafen going to get his ninth start of the season, coming off his career high of 19 versus Seymour, 6 of 10 from the field. Luke was 5 of 7 from the three-point line. And Matt Klarner, of course, in his 13th year at the helm here for Xavier, assisted by B.J. Brown, Jeremy Davis, and Ross Visaki. Want to thank Jude Gentry for running the camera once again tonight. His brother Jonah, of course, with that pregame message. And it'll be the Hawks on offense first, going right to left on the YouTube stream in their home whites. Navy blue and silver trim, backdoor lob, fairfully to Brightman. He gathers and up and under, and he missed the bunny. That lob pass was a little bit behind Brightman, so he had to gather it and regain. And now here's an early turnover. Ball fumbled away by Taden Wilkie, the freshman. Quimby going to get his first look, and he got the three ball to go. Hayden Quimby, 38% on the season from downtown, and he gets the Hawks off and running early. Josiah Hibbler, one of those good-looking... Quick athletes out here, a 6'1 junior, and here's McComey, the other one, another junior. Parker Wynant. Long three on the way back, rimmed off by Hibbler, but the rebound comes out to Wilkie, gives it right back to Hibbler, and he floats a layup up and in. Josiah Hibbler got to the rim, and it's 3-2 Hawks. Second chance opportunity, and the Blue Jays got it to go. Quimby in the post, and I think it's gonna be a travel, and it was. He tried to get McComey off his feet, but instead Hayden Quimby left his feet. First turnover on the Hawks. Menasha got off to a pretty good start the last time these two teams met. And then the Hawks exploded and they won by 35 going away. McComey was able to hold his pivot foot, got around crawl, tear dropped it in from four feet and the Blue Jays have their first lead 4-3. Some early momentum by Dylan Wirtz's team. Here's Luke Crowell, he got around Wilkie and he banked it up and in. And a good start offensively by both teams. Two lead changes early on. Koopman faked the three, a drive and a kick to Wilkie and the freshman throws up a three and it's short, no good. And Brightman, almost nine rebounds a game, corrals that one. Sam, he's gonna line up a straight on triple, that one's way short. And Koopman has the rebound for the Blue Jays, and now Dylan Wirtz is going to call out a set. 
as Parker Wynant, the junior, averaging almost 11, leads the team in assists. Just over three a game, and we're going to have a double dribble. John Claude McComey with the double. The second turnover on the Blue Jays as Taden Wilkie checks out of the ball game, and here comes Travion Lockridge. Has not played since the first Xavier game, so this is game number six now for Lockridge. Two early turnovers here on Menasha, and Lockridge is going to pick up Luke Olhafen. Crawl on the post up, and he laid it up and in. He got around Hibbler, and early on, the Hawks want to post up Luke Crawl on Hibbler, and it's working as Crawl has a couple of buckets. Now McComey wide left on the three. Here comes a runaway with Pfefferle, and it's knocked away from behind by Lockridge. Turnover, Hawks. Leaning, and that's going to be a charge. Parker Wynant left his feet, and Luke Kroll just stayed home, and it's turnover number three on the Blue Jays. Excellent job of defense by Luke Kroll that time, and Wynant left his feet, and Luke Kroll was waiting on him. Hawks up three early on. Three minutes gone by. Glad you could join us on Sports Faith YouTube. And we'll be back here Thursday night for the West Appear game as they take on the Hawks. Quimby now got closed off on the baseline, but now gets it back. Refeeds Crow. Now inside, Brightman's got a good look, and he lays it up and in. Brightman with a beautiful seal off that time. He had a monster game the last time these two teams met. 10 of 11 from the field he was, 22 points. For the senior, and that's going to be traveling. Jacob Koopman ran with it before he dribbled it. Fourth turnover here early on on the Blue Jays. They had 14 the last time these two teams met. Turnovers, that is. And we're going to go to a break. Our first time out, it's a 30. You're watching high school basketball, 9-4 Hawks lead early. Back with more on Sports Faith YouTube. You're faced with a tough healthcare decision. You've been given a diagnosis and treatment options, but you're still not comfortable with the plan. It may be time to get another opinion. I'm Dr. Jason Klein, orthopedic surgeon and physician owner at OSMS. No matter what you're questioning, a second opinion can give you peace of mind. OSMS is doctor owned and patient focused, and we're here to help you understand your options so you can stay in charge of your health. Learn more at askforosms.com. Back at Xavier, Craig Bone with you. Xavier off to a nice start, 9-4 they lead. There's only one other game in the Bay tonight, Green Bay West visiting Shano. Thursday night it'll be New London at Green Bay East, Seymour at Menasha, and of course we'll have West De Pere at Xavier. Menasha looks like they've settled into a little bit of a 2-3 matchup zone and an errant pass almost went out of bounds. Fafferly was trying to find Olhafen, I think, and Quimby saved it. 2-3 matchup. Let's see if they can shoot him out of it. Quimby no on the three. Brightman tries to corral it, but that ball hit the baseline and we're going Menasha away. David Stewart is going to enter for the Blue Jays, the 6'1 sophomore. And let's see who comes off. It's going to be Jacob Koopman. As the Hawks have yet to make a substitution, just over four minutes in. On a Tuesday night, Hibbler, Josiah Hibbler got through everyone and got to the rim. And he's got four early points, and he loves to get to the rack. Luke Olhafen, is he still on fire? And he is! Picked up right where he left off the other night. Five of seven and a career high, 19 against Seymour. And you may not want to let him loose tonight because he is feeling it. Hibbler stumbles but gets it to Mahomey for a three. No rimming. And Luke Crawl with a big-time block out, and Lockridge is going to get his first foul a push in the back. Second team foul on the Blue Jays as Sam Fefferly and Luke Olhafen will take a seat. Logan Ramchek and Reed Hippis 
into the ball game for Coach Klarner. Xavier doubling up Manasha early on, 12-6, four early turnovers on the Blue Jays. 2-3 zone here, Manasha opened in a man. Now they're gonna get aggressive. Dump down, crawl to Brightman and Stewart got a piece out of bounds. And Dylan Wirtz giving some defensive instructions to his guys and where they need to be in this zone. Here's a lob, Brightman, easy to the rim, and he laid it up and in. That's too easy on the lob. And Brightman has an early four. And Joe Gallucci coming off an ankle injury. Missed the last two ball games. Him and Isaiah Desjardins will come in next. Xavier up eight. Here's Wilkie with a pass, and that ball was almost double tipped, but it went off a ramp check. Luke Krull and Brightman out. Matt Klarner getting some early rotation in here for the Hawks. And right now, Manasha down eight. It's early, but a little bit of danger zone here. They need a hoop. Five minutes into the first half. Behind the back by Wynette, and that almost got him in trouble as he's having all kinds of trouble. And ramp check nearly fouled. But why not able to get a backspin in the lane, float it right hand, pinned it up on the glass and rim, but it's going to be a two-shot foul. And I think Isaiah Desjardins is going to get his first, and he did. And that's number one on the Hawks as a team. And Wienent, it's pronounced, misses his first. He's 70% from the free throw line, Wienent is. Trying to split a pair here, and he did. 14-7, Hawks. And now Menasha back into a man-to-man -man defense. Here's Golucci now. Trying to drive on Stewart. Oh, beautiful look, but he stepped out of bounds first. Turnover Hawks. Great look by Gallucci to Reed Hippus, but he stepped on the baseline. As Jacob Koopman will come in and Josiah Hibbler will go out. And Hibbler's been very impressive early on. He's got four. And he's been very active getting to the hoop. And Xavier in that man-to-man. -man. Jardins picking up Wienant into the corner. Stewart says, why not? And he did it. And it's actually Wilkie. My apologies. Tayden Wilkie, the freshman, buries a three. He's averaging nine and a half points a game. And he's 36% from deep. And now Jardins. can he answer? No. Wide right. Battle for the rebound. Lockridge has it. Just like that, a little 4-0 run by the Blue Jays. Wynant crossed over on Desjardins, floated teardrop, no, Lockridge digs it out, three on the way, that was Stewart and it was long and no good. Rebound came off to Quimby, now the freshman, ramp check, oh beautiful feed, what position by Reed Hippus, and that ball got partially blocked by Koopman. Reed Hippus got deep, three feet from the rim, but good interior defense by Koopman. Manasha trying to cut into this four-point lead. Lockridge, parking lot, three. He missed almost everything wide right. He caught the glass, and that was it. And now Ramchak left alone, and he got nothing but net. Logan Ramchak, when you leave him that open, he's 37%, 14 of 38 coming in. Stewart closed off and walled off by Ramchak. Hawks up seven, led by as many as eight. Down inside 11 minutes now remaining in this first half. Isaiah Desjardin just all over Wienant. Wilkie with a tough up and under scoop shot and the freshman missed it. And now Quimby on the run. Using a Hippus screen, Hayden still has it. Bounce feed, oh, what a pocket pass. Reed Hippus with the... Easy layup, but what a feed by Hayden Quimby. 
There wasn't a whole lot of room there, and Quimby delivered an absolute dime. And the Hawks have their largest lead of nine. Lockridge driving, floating, no. Offensive rebound, put back, no by Lockridge. Tough luck for Travion Lockridge, and Gallucci did travel indeed. An unforced turnover, the number four turnover for the Hawks as Quimby, Gallucci, and Desjardins will come off. Brightman Crowell, Pfefferly back. Hawks with their largest lead of nine. Now McComey back in here for the Blue Jays, as is Josiah Hibbler. Here's Koopman. Chase Lucas Savage into the ball game as well, a freshman. Koopman driving and stumbling and dribbling off his foot. Turnover number five for the Blue Jays as Olhafen right back for Hippus. Parker Wienet into the ball game, back in for Tayden Wilkie. So it's McCome, Hibbler, Wienant, Lucas Savage and Koopman for the Blue Jays. Oh, Hafen, dump it in. Brightman double, but he doesn't care, and he splits it and goes up for the layup. They put two guys down in the post on Brightman, and he just went up and powered it up off the window. He's got six. And you can't teach height. Six foot five, Tyler Brightman going to the lacrosse for some football. Defensive back he will be. Pretty good basketball player. I get the feeling he could have played basketball in college as well, to say the least. As Wienant short on that little jump hook. Pfefferly on a run, three on two. Sam powered up. Left hand all in and out. But he got fouled, and that was very close to an and one. Parker Wienant just picked up his second team foul, number three. As the Hawks starting to stretch it out a little bit. Their largest lead now of 11. Menasha 19 of 53 the last time these two teams met. Travion Lockridge is in as is Tayden Wilkie. Wienant and Koopman will take a seat. Sam now trying to split a pair and he missed both. Long rebound ran down by Olhafen. Big time play by Olhafen off the offensive rebound off the missed free throw. Now Brightman into the lane, thought about shooting it, give it to Sam, Sam, Fairfield, spinning, laying it up, count it and one! What a beautiful spin move by Sam Fairfield and he made sure that one went down. And back to the line for Sam. And Chase Lucas Savage with his first team foul number four. Fairfairly now has dropped down in his free throw percentage. He was 68% before those first two misses. And now he's looking for the three-point play. And that one looked a lot better and it went down. He's got three. And the lead is its largest. 14 as Quimby Getting set to check back in, next dead ball. Here's Lockridge, he's trying to get on track. Stumbled a little bit. Fed it outside to Wilkie, the freshman almost traveled, and it's blocked by Ramchek, and now taken back by Wilkie, but taken back by Brightman. And oh, Hafen, and he overshot the bunny. He, I think he thought he had a defender there, and he didn't. He was surprised how open he was, and he overlaid it. Now oh, Wilkie uses a ball screen, pull up 16 footer, no, short. Crawl has it, gonna lob ahead, lead feed Brightman, throw it down with two hands. Brightman's got eight on the lead feed from Crawl, and Tyler flushes it, and it's a 16 point Xavier lead, Lockridge. Hasn't played since the Xavier game the first time, so he is no doubt a little rusty, and McComey's gonna get called for a push-off. 
And that's an excellent call as he shoved off with the right arm on Sam Pfefferly. Turnover number seven on the Blue Jays. As Olhafen, Ramchek, and Brightman come out. Galucci, Reed, Hippus, and Hayden Quimby back on for Xavier. We want to thank our fine sponsors, OSMS, of course. Card and Coin Corner, Packer City Antiques, Pfefferly Management, NAI Pfefferly, Mr. Reinebo's Cookies, PRN Home Health and Therapy. As Galucci gets blocked inside, I think Lockridge got a piece. A good look by Sam that time, and Galucci had to go up against three blue shirts. And now Wienant gives it to Bacomi, and he's having some trouble. Xavier's defense very pesky, and Galucci just got away with a foul. Oh, and now they're going to call an offensive foul as Joe Galucci got a lot of arm on Wienant, I believe, and then Wienant going in just picked up his third and turnover number eight. So Wienant has to leave. David Stewart comes back, and that was a tough call there as Galucci, without a doubt, got away with a grabbing of the arm on the drive by Wienant. And now the Hawks going against some three-quarter court zone pressure. They break it. Sam, give it the hip, has thought about the three. Crawl, nice look cross court. Quimby with a nice ball fake, give it to Sam. Floated up in the air and hit a three, Sam Pfefferly, you got six. Good looking arc and rotation on that bomb. 29% from deep for Sam this year. You know he wants to maybe get that up over the 30 to 33% mark. And the Hawks up a bunch, 19. McCombie with a high arc, three, no. And here comes Sam on the run. Four on three, lead feed, and it's off of Quimby's fingertips and out of bounds. Turnover number five on Xavier as Brightman and his gardens come back in. And Joe Gallucci and Sam Pfefferly will take a seat. 6.15 remaining here early. In this ball game, Hibbler having trouble, and he finally does get it in. Jean-Claude McComey, they got a strong junior class. Wienant, McComey, Koopman's a sophomore. Lockridge, beautiful spin. Oh, and I thought he was going to shoot it. He tried to pass it, and luckily it went off a hawk. As everybody was telling Lockridge, shoot that basketball. He had a four-footer wide open, and he was a little too unselfish. Travion Lockridge, another junior. Boy, this team next year, they are going to have a nice senior class. McComey got stripped by Quimby. McComey got it back. Now Lockridge, he's trying to get on the board, going against Luke Crow. Boy, what a defensive effort that was, but they're going to get Luke on a bump. And Lockridge trying to force the action offensively. Luke picks up his first. It's only the second team foul on the Hawks, but Lockridge will go to the stripe. In limited action, only six of nine coming in, but he makes that one. 6-2, Junior. It's a Menasha team that has the quickness edge on Xavier. But Xavier, they have the experience. What a play. Long pass to Jardins, and he gets it to Reed Ippis. After a free throw make, the Hawks get a transition bucket on the long outlet and a great assist by Desjardins. McCombie gets around Quimby, teardrop it from six feet. No, hey, Quimby has the rebound. It's a three-on-one bust out. Brightman to the rim. Hey, throw it down with two ends. Brightman's got 10 and a couple of breakaway dunks. Brightman getting out in front, and Quimby found him. And it's a big 21-point lead, and now Reed on the attempted steal. He got arm, and Reed's going to get called for his first. And that was a good call. 
Came over the top of the arm as Jacob Koopman. And Chase Lucas Savage into the ball game for the Blue Jays. Stewart and Tayden Wilkie will go to the bench for Dylan Wirtz as we're down to the five minute mark. Hibbler having trouble and he threw it right to Brightman. Tyler, two on one, Quimby layup good. A big turnover and Quimby finishes it. He's got five. And the Hawks starting to run away up 23. It's all going Xavier's way. Defensively, they're getting in transition. McComey counted in one. Jean-Claude McComey and Hayden Quimby's looking around. Is that on me? And Hayden's not sure why he's asking the official what he did. But the basket counts. McComey with four. And Quimby picks up his first. He wasn't so sure. Maybe he thought one of his teammates got him. But nonetheless, McComey converts the three-point play. And Dylan Wirtz going to take a 30-second timeout on the OSMS scoreboard. Xavier by 20 with 442 remaining. You're watching Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Best for Foods and Diamonds and Gold present Let Me Be Frank's Silver Jubilee season at the Meyer Theater. And our first show of the year is Two and a Half Belgians, Friday, February 2nd to February 27th. Join me, Two and a Half, and my other brothers, Run True Five, as we work at the Frosty Tip and Dicefield and cruise for Illinois babes in Fish Creek. It's the late 60s. Herky and Mabel are the, the proprietors of Frosty Tip. Two and a Half Belgians runs February 2nd to February 27th. For tickets, go to MeyerTheater.org or call 494-3401. And back out of the timeout, and Luke Kroll on time with a three ball. He's got seven, and it is all clicking tonight for the Hawks. Their largest lead of 23 points. And the Blue Jays have been hit with a big-time Hawks run, and Hibbler's going to get bumped in the lane. And I think it's Reed Hippis, and it'll be a shooting foul. No, they got Brightman. Brightman's first, team foul number five, and Hibbler, the 6'1 junior, 60% free throw shooter. Hawks, of course, right back at home here on Thursday night. West up here, who is off this evening. So they will be rested and ready to come in here and battle. It should be a fun one as Hibbler not able to knock down the second. And Sam Pfefferly into the front court. Feed Hippus, fake the three, feed it. Brightman lay it up in the left hand. What a fake by Hippus. Looked like he was going to shoot the three, and I think the defense thought he was too. And a snap pass on the low block to Brightman for the easy layup. 24 point lead, the largest. McComey pushed off a little bit with that right arm again. This time they didn't call it. And McComey knocks it down. He's got seven. Put that right arm out again on Pfefferly. He got called for it earlier. High post, crawl. Snap it, discharge. Good ball movement. Crawl, it just tic tac toe. Three on the way, and it's airballed by Hippus. He shot it deep. 40 to 18, now Matt Klarner says let's dig in defensively. They only give up 55, Xavier. Fall away, jumper, Hibbler rolls off, Lockridge with the cleanup offensive putback. His first field goal, he's got four. Now crawl, three on three, striding to the rim, scoop, layup, overshot it. Tough shot by Kroll, but he got all the way to the rim. Now Lockridge 360 spin, they're gonna get Crawl on a block and that's a good call. 
Boy, Travion Lockridge, that spin move is really nasty and really hard to guard. And Crawl picked up his second. Travion Lockridge got a lot of hop in the step tonight. That is for sure as Lucky Wirtz, longtime coach Wapon Laconia, and of course Kimberly, trying to get his guys energized from that bench. Luke Olhafen going to come in as well as Logan Ramchek. Quimby on as well. Hippus Disjardins. And Crowell check out. As I believe they called that a one and one, so Lockridge not able to knock it down. So I thought that was a shooting fall, but Hayden Quimby continues to deliver. He's got eight. Each team with six team fouls, so that wasn't a one and one. That was just an 0 for 2 for Lockridge from the line. Good help show that time by Olhafen against Lockridge, and now they switch it. Olhafen takes Koopman. Fairfield, he's got Lockridge. Driving attempt, McComey missed it. Brightman third dunk. You got it! Tyler Brightman with a breakaway slam. That's his third dunk out of his seven field goals. He's got 14. Three on the way. Lockridge, no back healed. Olhafen with the board. Here comes Sam. He's got his head up and a little bit of bump, and it's going to be McComey. And to the line, Pfefferly will go. As McComey with a little bit of a hip check. He's calling for the foul on the other end. He, got, he thought he got hit on the shot. So with a minute 48, 25 point lead for the Hawks. Pfefferly trying to add to it right here. Front end of the one on one is good. Sam's got seven. Coming off a one for six game from the field against Seymour, but he did have four rebounds and six assists, only three points. So you know he's gonna come back tonight and have a strong game. He's got eight already. It's hard to believe it's a 27 point game already. Xavier has just come out and absolutely put one on Menasha here in this first half. Here's Hibbler, he wants to put his head down, almost traveled. Now a good look by Wilkie. Tayden Wilkie, the freshman, a good looking freshman. His second three, he's got six. And Wilkie almost stepped in the passing lane there in the backcourt. Quimby, why not? Wide open and nothing but nylon. He's got 11, and that's his third triple. And right now, Xavier getting some very good looks from all over, inside, outside. McComey floated left, handed layup good. McComey with nine. These guys are unbelievably quick off the dribble. They can get to the rim, it seems like, at will at times. Ramchek is going to get reached in and fouled by... We got Lockridge here. Let's see. It's going to be another one and one. It's going to be on McComey, his third team fall number eight. Chase Lucas Savage will come in as Mahomes got to leave with three, and it'll be Joe Gallucci for Olhafen. And the Hawks have doubled up. The Blue Jays 50 to 25. And Logan Ramchek, a 80% free throw shooter. Deep no good, Koopman with a good block out. So the Hawks miss a front end. We're inside of 45 seconds, Koopman on Gallucci. Hibbler guarded closely by Brightman. Good job by Brightman and Ramchek almost caused the travel with his help and now tipped by Ramchek, ball loose. Poked through the legs of Brightman by Wilkie. And Manasha saves the possession and they're gonna hold for one it looks like as Dylan Wirtz calling out his play right here down inside of 16. Wilkie better be careful, that went off his foot, that's gonna be over and back. What a reach and poke away by Remchek and it went off the foot of Wilkie into the back court. And it is another turnover for the Blue Jays as 
Gallucci will come out. Pfefferly back in, and Dylan Wirtz trying to get an explanation on that ball that went off of the foot. I think he might have been asking for a fall. Why wasn't there a fall? I don't think he's arguing the over and back. But nonetheless, the Hawks now with 11.7, up 25. They're going to run a set play for Quimby, I think. Lob back door, Brightman, and he laid it up and in. Tyler Brightman with his eighth field goal. Half court heave, Hibbler got some glass and a rim. But we're going to the half, 52-25 on the OSMS scoreboard as it was all Hawks in this first half. And let's step aside and we'll come back and take a look at first half statistics and take a look at our upcoming broadcast schedule. And we'll do that after this timeout. Xavier in control. 52-25 as you watch Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Welcome to Main Bar at the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley, where good times never end. With 30 beers on tap and a full liquor menu, your taste buds are in for a wild ride. Catch all the action on our 28 TVs and cheer on your favorite sports team. Savor our delicious food and host your events in our spacious banquet space. Enjoy live music, and unleash your inner superstar with karaoke at the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. Hungry? Check out this deal on the best pizza in Wisconsin. I love this pizza. And you'll love getting $5 off any Gallagher's pizza order of 30 or more. Call us for delivery. It's the best way to feed your office for lunch. Hungry? Check out this deal on the best pizza in Wisconsin. I love this pizza. And you'll love getting $5 off any Gallagher's pizza order of 30 or more. Get Wisconsin's best pizza, dine-in, or delivery at any of our four locations, open until 10. You're faced with a tough healthcare decision. You've been given a diagnosis and treatment options, but you're still not comfortable with the plan. It may be time to get another opinion. I'm Dr. Jason Klein, orthopedic surgeon and physician owner at OSMS. No matter what you're questioning, a second opinion can give you peace of mind. OSMS is doctor-owned and patient-focused, and we're here to help you understand your options so you can stay in charge of your health. Learn more at askforosms.com. Festival Foods and Diamonds of Gold present Let Me Be Frank Silver Jubilee season at the Meyer Theater. And our first show of the year is Two and a Half Belgians, Friday, February 2nd to February 27th. Join me, Two and a Half, and my other brothers, Run True Five, as we work at the Frosty Tip in Dykesville and cruise for Illinois babes in Fish Creek. It's the late 60s. Herky and Mabel are the proprietors of Frosty Tip. Two and a Half Belgians runs February 2nd to February 27th. For tickets, go to MeyerTeater.org or call 494-3401. hunger strikes, you need to act fast or you could die. So keep a healthy supply of Kingpin pizzas in your freezer and you'll always be just 12 minutes away from deliciousness. Kingpin pizza, it's good. Wait, how many times do I have to come back? First no fall, too many appointments. You should have gone to No Star Dental. Dr. Pete and his team have experience and with today's technology can do more dentistry in just one visit. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental. And dental implants should last a lifetime. Whether you need a single tooth replacement or a full mouth reconstruction, you can get it all done here under one roof. North Star Dental, changing your life by changing your smile. And we're back at Xavier High School. Craig Bone with you on Sports Faith YouTube and the Xavier Hawks, I don't think can play a whole lot better than that, 52-25 is the count at the half. Let's take a look at first half scoring. And for the Manesha Blue Jays, 10 unofficial turnovers in that first half. And it was Jean-Claude McComey leading the way with nine points. 
He had four field goals, six from the freshman Taden Wilkie on a couple of three-point buckets in that first half. He also had a couple of rebounds. Five for Josiah Hibbler. Got to the rim early for the Blue Jays. Four points from Trey Lockridge, his first action since game number five, so only his sixth game of the season. So four points for Lockridge. He did have six rebounds in that first half as well. And one free throw from Parker Wienant. And Parker Wienant averaging almost 11 points a game, leading scorer along with Josiah Hibbler. So Wienant with a very quiet one point as the Blue Jays five of nine from the free throw line in the first half. And only two of 10 from beyond the arc in the first half. So it was a struggle not only shooting, but taking care of the basketball as well. And the Xavier Hawks led by Tyler Brightman. He had eight field goals in the first half. Three of them were dunks and one rebound, but Tyler Brightman's been the story early, and Hayden Quimby knocking him down from deep. He had three three-point baskets in the first half to go with four rebounds, 11 points for Quimby, eight points from Sam Pfefferly, and four rebounds for him as well, and seven from Luke Kroll, in that first half to go along with a couple of rebounds. Four points from Reed Hippus tonight off the bench. And Luke Olhafen and Logan Rampchak each with three-point baskets for the total of 52. The Hawks, three of six from the free throw line and they were seven of 11 from downtown. So they dialed it up very nicely in that first half from distance. And the Hawks did out-rebound Menasha 16-14 in that first half as the Hawks got themselves a nice cushion here at the half. 27-point lead. And we want to thank our great sponsors once again. Tonight's game brought to you by Gallagher's Pizza. Four convenient locations, Green Bay, De Pere, Alloway, and Suamico. Tonight's game brought to you by The Driveway, where they are devoted to helping kids become the best version of themselves on and off the court through old school work ethic and new school methods. And by Jeff's Water Conditioning and Greenville Plumbing, they can give you bottled water quality straight from the tap. If you have no hot water, no problem. They can change out that water heater the same day. Clogged drains, leaky pipes, or remodels, they got you covered. Best price, best service, best choice. Jeff's Water Conditioning and Greenville Plumbing, 920-757-9732. And tonight's game brought to you by the Xavier Booster Club, a proud supporter of all Xavier High School sports teams and athletes. And they want to wish the Hawks good luck in tonight's game against the Blue Jays and go Hawks. By North Star Dental Group, our pregame show sponsor. Tonight's game brought to you by Cheryl Quimby Real Estate, Keller Williams Group of the Fox Cities. If you're looking to buy or sell your home, Give Cheryl a call today. The market still has a record low inventory and it's a great time to sell. 920-224-3061, where she is committed to excellence. And by the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley, Family Fund Center, 2929 Allied Street in Green Bay. By OSMS, Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Specialists of Green Bay and the Fox Cities. By Card and Coin Corner, where they buy and sell coins, gold and silver, sports cards, and Packer memorabilia. Located five blocks from Lambeau Field, 2208 South Ridge Road. Give Xavier graduate and owner Mike Waracek a call today, 
498-0050. And by Mr. Renabo's Cookies, you can get your cookies at Jacob's Meat Market, Jersey Bagel and Deli, Lamer's Dairy, The Meat Block, and Dwyer's Cheese Hut. And by PRN, Home Health and Therapy, where they provide home health care and therapy services to patients throughout Wisconsin. They provide quality and compassionate care to all the patients they see, treating them like their own family. Visit prncares.com for more information. And by Forefront Dermatology, voted best in the Valley four years in a row. Visit all four locations in the Fox Valley, Appleton, Kakana, New London, and Nina for all of your skin care needs. So the Hawks trying to get within a half a game of the West of Pier Phantoms. And those two teams will meet as the Hawks beat them earlier this year. And they are looking for the season sweep, a hard earned 72-65 win at West of Pier. So the Phantoms will come in here and they are locked and loaded. They got Treff Rodemaker, the 6'8 freshman, been playing very well. Bryce Borowitz having a great junior year as well. Riley Kraft. That's a good roster. That West of Pier team, I think it's safe to say they're better now than when these first two teams met back in December. As the Blue Jay is going to go on offense first. McComey gets it over to Koopman. Good close up by Olhafen. Put a hand up. Air balled the jumper, but the offensive rebound is good by Wilkie and up and good. Tate and Wilkie has eight. Good looking freshman. He averages almost 10. Hawks up 25. Can't get complacent. If you're Xavier, Crow with a beautiful snap. Hook pass into the corner to Pfefferly. Now Brightman says, I'm going to go high rise three. No, short to Wilkie on the rebound. Brightman with a big time first half, 16 points on eight field goals. Hibbler a drive and a step through and a kick to Koopman. Now Wienat, no on the three. Ball tipped around. Who's got it? It's Sam. Pfefferly's going to push. Four on three. Sam down the alley. Scoop it with the right hand. No. Old Hafen offensive put back and he got hacked. Luke Olhafen with the offensive rebound, and Hibbler's going to get number one. Take that back. They're going to get Wienant, and that is number four. So Wienant is probably going to come out of the game, I would assume, as Olhafen's going to get a couple of free throws. Travion Lockridge will come in for Wienant. Ole Hafen, 77% free throw shooter. This was a 27 point game at the half if you're just joining us. And that's exactly what we are right now as the Hawks doubling up the Blue Jays. Ole Hafen in the first meeting, only four points on one of three. He only played 15 minutes. Hibbler wide left on the three, and Kroll soars for the rebound. And now Luke's going to slow it up. Ole Hafen ball screen up high. Kroll's going to use it and keep it. Now on the pick and roll. Ole Hafen flips it in with a right hand. That was beautifully executed. A ball screen and an Ole Hafen roll to the rim. And that's how it's done. Luke Kroll with a beautiful assist. Lockridge. Kicks it out of a double team, Koopman. Left-hander Koopman, a sophomore. And they turn the basketball over, and here comes Pfefferly. No look, crawls wide open, he could have shot it, but instead gives it to Quimby, and he leaves it short. And they're gonna say it went off of Hayden. Or let's see, did he point the wrong way? They're gonna say, Man I think he, oh boy, that ball went off of uh, Xavier, they're gonna say. Yeah, Luke Kroll was so open that he just didn't realize how open he was and he should have shot it. But he made the unselfish play to Quimby and Hayden wasn't able to convert. 
A little confusion on who that ball was off of. Hibbler walled off by the 6'5", Brightman. Now Lockridge goes hard to the rim, and he's going to draw a foul. Lockridge used his quickness, got in there for the left-handed layup attempt, and Brightman got called for the push, his second. Each team with an early team foul here. Just over two minutes gone by in the second half. And Lockridge pushes that first one up and it rattles in and out. Lockridge only four points in the first half. Seven points and six rebounds in that earlier game on two of six shooting for Lockridge. Twenty-eight point lead for the Hawks. Snap it, Brightman one on one, going up and under and over Lockridge for the easy bucket, and he's got eighteen. Tyler Brightman, well over his average of thirteen point nine, and I'll tell you, it can't go any worse for the Blue Days. McComey with a short look, and he couldn't make it. Rattled in and out. Brightman with a high rainbow three and it touches nylon. Tyler Brightman stuck on automatic tonight. He's got 21 to lead everybody. Wilkie with a good look, Lockridge. One on one, spinning boy, good offense. But he walked with it as Luke Crowell made him shuffle the feet. But what a beautiful spin move by Lockridge. But because of the Luke Kroll defense, Lockridge had to take that little skip in the lane and he moved that pivot foot and they wave off the goal. Hayden Quimby stepped through, tough shot in traffic. And McComey comes off with the rebound. McComey kick it to a wide open Koopman. He almost traveled. McComey, Lockridge has a wide open left corner pocket three and it's wide right, no. Olhafen with the lead feed to Pfefferly. Sam going to retreat, take a ball screen from Olhafen. They want to run that same exact play, and Olhafen got it again. Floated off the rim this time too hard. That one wasn't as smooth as the last pick and roll. Koopman tried to find Hibbler in the corner, and uh, Hayden Quimby knocked it out of bounds. Chase Lucas Savage and David Stewart back in. Tayden Wilkie and Jacob Koopman will come off. A 33-point bulge here for the Hawks. Hibbler, jump stop in the lane, fadeaway, tough 10-footer, and he made it. Josiah Hibbler with a good-looking turner on jumper. Here's Crawl out of the high post now. They want to work some high post against his zone. Try to find that soft spot. La Brightman up over the defender, which was David Stewart. And Brightman unstoppable tonight. He's got 23. Good patience. He gathered himself. Brightman did. Avoided the offensive foul. And a strip by either Crawl or Feffley off the leg of Lockridge. Travion Lockridge did not like it. And another turnover from Manasha. As I could not see it as we were shielded by players, but Pfefferly reached in, I believe. Sam floating and gliding to the rack, and he'll get fouled. Xavier doing just about anything they want offensively. They got it going on from distance. They're getting to the rim. Lockridge just picked up number two as Reed Hippus. And Logan Ramchek are going to come into the game. And Pfefferly to the line for his sixth attempt. He's three of five so far. Trevor DeBrian, the junior for the Blue Jays, is going to come in for Lockridge. Olhafen checks out of the game. Reed Hip is in. And Sam going to make it a 35 point game, and he does. He's got 10. And he's going to come out, Pfefferly is, and Logan Ramchek, the freshman, had a three-point bucket in that first half. And now you're going to see Liberal substituting here by 
Xavier isn't going to start going deep into that bench with a 35-point lead. Trevor DeBrian, a couple points a game. Has an errant pass. Stolen by Ramchek, but he dribbled it on or stepped on the baseline. He lost track of where he was after the turnover. Hawks got 65, they averaged 75, so they most likely will shatter that tonight. Hibbler with a fake and a drive on Brightman. Fumbled it, so they have to reset. Hibbler, a little jab step here, guarded by Brightman. McComey with the left hand. Fade away, 16-footer is pure. Jean-Claude McComey with 11. That was a good look and fade away. Now Manash are going to chase out of this zone. Maybe trap. Not there, they didn't. Good ball handling team, Xavier. They only turn it over eight times a game, and Brightman powers it up inside and no contest right there. 25 for Brightman. His career high is 26, and that was against Hartford down at Concordia, so he needs another bucket. And he'll have himself a career high, a new career high. David Stewart spinning on Hippus. Flip it off the glass of the right hand. No, and Quimby is going to get followed by Chase Lucas Savage. His second. Substitutions, Brightman coming out as is Quimby. Gallucci and Pfefferly back in for the Hawks. So it's Pfefferly, Hippus, Ramchek, Gallucci, and Kroll on the floor for Matt Klarner. And we have some garbage time early, up 35. Ramchek, wide left, you could see it. We were right in line with it. Hibbler on a run out against Pfefferly. Float it, right hand bank, no, and Sam's gonna pick up a foul. His first. Team foul number two on Xavier. The Menasha Blue Jays on a two game losing streak and they get Seymour at home on Thursday, so that doesn't get much easier. Then it's New London at home. Seymour in New London. In that upper third or so of the Bay Conference as Hibbler will get his second free throw and he got both. Take a look at those standings. New London five and three in the conference. Seymour five and four. So Menasha a couple of tough games right there coming up. Gallucci with a good cross-court look on the skip. Sam hung up. Ramchek, line it up, push it up. Left a little bit, and now Gallucci with a little push in the back. First foul on Gallucci, team foul number three. Of course, the Hawks, West appear right here. And then next Monday and Tuesday, back-to-back, -back, Green Bay East at home at Green Bay West. And then Friday night, February 9th, New London will come in here. No look, feed by Kral to Gallucci. Gallucci fumbled it, throw it up right hand, he overlaid it. Joe Gallucci couldn't catch that one clean from Kral. Parker Wienant back in the game playing with four falls inside. Hibbler and he overlays it and it's been one of those nights. Sam on the run, no look underneath. Flip it to ramp check and he lays it up and in. Sam Pfefferly, of course, leading the Bay Conference in assist. Almost six and a half a game. Hibbler taking Pfefferly in the lane, almost traveled. Three on the way, DeBrian is no good. Major struggle for the Blue Jays shooting the ball tonight. They were two out of 11 in the first half from three. Hawks were seven of 11. Oh, tic-tac-toe. Ramp check to crawl to Gallucci for the layup. As they dissect the two, three zone.
37 point lead as Stewart almost lost that one out of bounds. David Stewart with a pull up 12 footer, no, rebound came to Hibbler. Big jump stop and he laid it up and in and count it. And they're gonna say Reed Hippis nicked him on the elbow. You just wanna let him score there, do not follow him. Hippis with his second. And Cole Hippis gonna make an appearance. Hayden Quimby gonna come back in as well. Luke Kroll, Reed Hippis off. And Travion Lockridge in for David Stewart. At the 10 minute even mark remaining here. 35 points the first time Xavier got the Blue Jays. And it's 35 right now, now 34 after the free throw. Hibbler with 12 points as we have a timeout on the floor on the OSMS scoreboard, 10 minutes remaining. It's all Xavier, 71-37, a full timeout. Back with more, you're watching Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Who would you rather face? A 240 pound football player running at you full speed? or a dentist? Let Dr. Pete and the team at North Star Dental make your experience worry-free. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental Group, and our patient's safety and comfort come first. That's why we offer sedation dentistry. No stress, no worries. Go home with that beautiful smile, usually in just one visit. If you think that's too good to be true, give us a call. North Star Dental, changing your life by changing your smile. Back at Xavier High School on Sports Faith YouTube. Craig Moan with you, and it's been all Hawks tonight. 71-37, they led by 27 at the half. And now up 34, and here's a set play. Gallucci was coming off a ball, or a screen, and the ball tipped and batted away and stolen as Pfefferly was trying to find Gallucci. Lockridge up and under, oh, he could have shot it, and he spun out of there and kicked it to Wilkie. Wienat looking for his first field goal. Wide right and short, no good. As Wienat, one point in the ball game, averages almost 11. As Tyler Brightman with 25 in this game, and here we have a fall off the ball. I want to say they got Wilkie, and they did. First foul on Wilkie, team foul number four. Brightman one point away from a career high. He's got 26 earlier this year against Hartford. Down at the Wisconsin basketball Rick Majera shootout. Quimby, Hayden, a little jab step. McCombie wants to D up on him, and he does a nice job, but Pfefferly's open for a three. Long no. Lockridge with a big-time rebound, and here he comes on the fly. Finds McCombie. Three ball, and that one almost bounced in. Here comes Gallucci. They got numbers. Three on two. Joe got it pickpocketed. McCombie. Throw ahead. Look out. Lockridge all alone, and he laid it up and in. He tried to dunk it initially, I think, but Lockridge got behind everybody. He's got seven. Lucky Wirtz over here yelling, nope, no quit. Doesn't matter what the score is. Play like it's 0-0. Fairfully drive, floating left hand layup. He can't get it to go. Now Wilkie, the freshman, brings it to the front court. And Cole Hippis trying to move those feet and stay in front. And that's a tough guard matchup right there for Cole Hippis. Picks up his first. More substitutions. Matthew Potter, the sophomore, and Isaiah Disjardins will come in. And Pfefferly and Quimby will go off. Jacob Koopman back in for the Blue Jays. Just over eight minutes remaining. 
as the Hawks will go to 14 and one. Menasha will fall to six and 11. As we have a fall here on Xavier. Matthew Potter with his first team fall number six. So one and one the rest of the way from here on out for Menasha. Lob and it's not a good one by McCombie. Cole Hippis intercepted it. Cole Hippis, the 6'2 junior, has it right there. Looked at a three. See if the substitutes here can run some motion offense. Don't have a starter on the floor right now, and you're playing against pretty much their starting five. So this will be a good little test here. Ramp check with a backdoor feed to Potter. Finds this Jardins three. No, and the rebound off to Lockridge. Down to 7.25 left. Lockridge get to the rim, and he's going to get reached in on it. I think it's Gallucci again. And it is Joe with the hand check. And Lockridge will go to the line for a one and one. Matt Klarner says keep those hands out, do not reach. The hand in the cookie jar, they call it. And now Lockridge, the front end, is long and Cole Hippus with a rebound and he secured it. Now Ramchek, good looking freshman. Xavier gonna have a good crew coming back next year. Disjardins comes off and screened by Hippus and he buries the three, his first points of the game. The 5'9 senior, 13 of 27 now for Disjardins from three. Ball hawking Mahomey. McComey, I should say. Lockridge, backing, pump fake, throw it up and count it. And Joe Gallucci having some hard luck on defense. He just picked up another, his third. And Lockridge now with nine points in the game. Short yet again on another free throw. He is three of eight. Three of eight from the charity stripe for Lockridge. He was six out of nine before this ball game. And Chase Lucas Savage and Trevor DeBryan in. And McComey and uh, Wilkie are gonna take a seat. 6.39 remaining as the benches are soon to be completely cleared as Xavier already. Oh, a good look by Disjardins, but Jacob Koopman saved a layup potentially by Gallucci. Good cut by Gallucci, but better hands by Koopman. Bounce feed to Ramchek out of a double team. Spin, right hand layup good. Wow, Logan Ramchek with a beautiful post move out of a double team. Back to that 35 point largest lead and Lockridge just turned it over. He wanted to throw it out to Wienant, and then Lockridge got the feet tangled up, and that kind of sums up the night for the Blue Jays. Just Jordan's hip is coming off that ball stream by Ramchek. Isaiah with good handles. Potter gonna line up a long bomb, and it's back heeled, no. Lockridge just goes up above everybody. What an athlete he is, 6'2", but he plays like 6'6". Big time spring. He can get up the elevator, that is for sure. And there's a bad pass by Lockridge, right to Potter, to the rim, Potter left hand layup, no! Couldn't get it to go. Good hustle by Chase Lucas Savage. Koopman finds Lucas Savage for the high rising three, no. And Gallucci with a rebound. Levi Miller gonna come in and Cole Hippis tried to power one up against Lockridge. 
And he left it light on the glass, no good. Just over five minutes remaining. Wienant with a kick into the corner. Lucas Savage gonna try another three and he got that one. Chase Lucas Savage, that was a good looking triple. As he brought rain on that one. Only a freshman. Cole Hippis rings one up from downtown. His fourth triple of the year, and here's a steal by Ramchek. Two on two. Logan float, layup good. Got right around Wienant, and Ramchek laid it up, and he's got nine. 81-44. Here's Lucas Savage, the freshman. Again, leaner from eight feet, and he got it to go, and he got fouled. Lucas Savage with back-to-back -back field goals. This is still a young basketball team when you look at this roster. Levi Miller, the only senior along with, actually that's it. Levi Miller, the only senior on this roster. The rest are juniors. And you sprinkle in some freshmen and sophomores, Coach Wirtz. You got a light next year the way that might look as Lucas Savage now with six quick points. As Kyler Bleck has checked into the ball game. We'll keep it right here, a 5'11 sophomore up on this varsity roster, a 30-second timeout. As we want to thank Georgia Steakhouse, known for their award-winning steaks and, of course, their Friday fish fry. Call 920-733-4939 for reservations. And by NAI Pfefferly and Pfefferly Management. Pfefferly Management offers in-house services including certified HVAC, electrical, plumbing, building maintenance, lawn care, snow removal, security, janitorial, and project management. And NAI Pfefferly specializes in selling and leasing of commercial real estate, including office, retail, industrial, medical, investment, and land. Great, great list of fine supporters this year once again on Sports Faith YouTube. And we'll be back here Thursday night. Looking forward to that one. West to Pier Xavier. Place should be full to say the least as Joe Gallucci gets called for traveling. Four oh eight remaining. And Xavier been on cruise control probably since about the eight minute mark of the first half as Wienant's gonna draw a foul. See if they got Gallucci again. No, not this time. Kyler Bleck, the sophomore, gets his first and team foul number 10. So Wienant with a pair. He's only scored one point tonight before that free throw. So the Hawks have done a great job on him, averaging 11. Season high of 22 for Wienant. But not a lot of opportunities tonight. He's got three free throws. And we get a look at Kyler Bleck. And he just threw it right to Chase Lucas Savage, and a left-handed layup is good. This is good experience for Kyler Bleck, sophomore, getting some varsity minutes. There's a learning curve, right? Jonah Gentry off the bench. He knocks down a long ball, the 5'10 junior. So the young guy is going to finish this one out. Matthew Potter, Cole Hippus, Joe Gallucci on the floor. Oh, and Cole Hippus just blocked Levi Miller inside. That was nice. Wienant with a nice bounce feed underneath, and it's up and good, Levi Miller. Down to three minutes remaining, and more substitutions coming for the Hawks. 
inside. Potter got himself a layup. Cole Hippis with a nice bounce feed. Potter's first bucket of the game. Miller, three ball. Good looking stroke. Levi Miller with back to back hoops. And we have a timeout, and it's going to be a substitution timeout. We'll keep it right here. As we have more bodies coming in. Eli Mares into the ball game, as is Reed Flick and Michael Kippenhan. And number 24, Mason Lucas Savage into the ball game for the Blue Jays. And David Stewart's back. He saw minutes earlier. Potter going to give it to Flick. Reed Flick. Long on the three, no good. And here come the Blue Jays. Stewart sees an opening, and he took it, and he had an uncontested layup for his first deuce. And we tick down just over two minutes remaining, and it's blowout city tonight for the Hawks. 38. Excuse me, yes. I should say 28, make it 30. So a 30-point bulge for the Hawks. And long three again. Chase Lucas Savage. He's got nine, all of them late in this ball game. He has really looked good from the perimeter and only a freshman. Kippenhahn with a good look inside Potter. He's doubled. So Kippenhahn is the recipient of an open three and he shot it long. Down to a buck 25. Stewart down the lane. Throw it in the corner. High rise three is splashed by Trevor DeBryan. Some good looking shooters here late in this ball game from Menasha. Obviously too little too late, but the lead is down to 24. I believe this lead was at 38, I believe was the largest if I'm not mistaken as Potter's gonna come out. And Jonah Gentry back in. Hawks turn it over as we hit the one minute mark and then preparations begin because less than 48 hours, it's the Hawks and the Phantoms in a big game as Miller missed the three and it's batted out of bounds by Mason Lucas Savage. And now the Hawks try to run some offense here with the backups. Eli Mares with it, finds Gentry, good look to Flick, and the air ball three is caught by Mares, and he banked it up and in. Eli Mares with his fourth field goal of the year. Here's a ball lost out of bounds and fumbled by Chase Lucas Savage. And now Xavier most likely dribbles this 21 seconds out with a 26 point lead led by as many as I believe it was 38. Kippenhahn, Gentry threw it through the hands of Kippenhahn and it's going Menasha basketball. And this is an opportunity to run a play in 6.7 here for Menasha. Good time to practice this situation. They roll it to Lucas Savage. Dribble handoff, Miller three on the way, and they executed it beautifully. And Levi Miller knocks down yet another three-point basket as Menasha really shot the ball well late in garbage time as I count up the threes. They knocked down five in the second half. And a lot of those were 
well after this game was decided, but nonetheless, some very good looking shots indeed. And your final, once again, on the OSMS scoreboard, Xavier 90 and Manasha 67. Let's step aside and we'll take a time out and come back and wrap things up here from Xavier tonight. 90-67 Xavier as you watch Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Wait, how many times do I have to come back? Personal foul, too many appointments. You should have gone to No Star Dental. Dr. Pete and his team have experience and with today's technology can do more dentistry in just one visit. Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Haley from North Star Dental. And dental implants should last a lifetime. Whether you need a single tooth replacement or a full mouth reconstruction, you can get it all done here under one roof. North Star Dental, changing your life by changing your smile. Your healthcare should be about what's best for you. Yet too often, healthcare professionals focus on keeping patients within their system, including who they refer you to. I'm Dr. Will Elburo, orthopedic surgeon and physician owner at OSMS. You should be seen by who you want, and you can be. At OSMS, our focus is on providing you with the highest quality of care in a safe environment. The best part is, you usually don't need a referral for orthopedic care, putting full control in your hands. Learn more at askforosms.com. For Foods and Diamonds and Gold present Let Me Be Frank's Silver Jubilee season at the Meyer Theater. And our first show of the year is Two and a Half Belgians, Friday, February 2nd through February 27th. Join me, Two and a Half, and my other brothers, Run True Five, as we work at the Frosty Tip in Dyksville and cruise for Illinois babes in Fish Creek. It's the late 60s. Herky and Mabel are the, the proprietors of Frosty Tip. Two and a Half Belgians runs February 2nd through February 27th. For tickets, go to MeyerTheater.org or call 494-3401. Step into a world of excitement at Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley, your home for family fun in Green Bay. Since 1976, our locally owned and operated business has been Green Bay's go-to destination for fun enthusiasts. Brace yourself for a jaw-dropping experience with 60 lanes, including regular bowling and newly updated cosmic bowling. Feel the thrill as our unreal bowling takes excitement to the next level. Create unforgettable memories with your family at Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. Hungry? Check out this deal on the best pizza in Wisconsin. I love this pizza. And you'll love getting $5 off any Gallagher's Pizza order of 30 or more. Get Wisconsin's best pizza, dine-in or delivery at any of our four locations, open until 10. Head back in time to the Bricks, the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley's very own hidden gem. Ideal for private parties, it can accommodate up to 50 guests. Perfect for rehearsal dinners, small parties, and bridal parties. It offers an intimate atmosphere for every occasion. Enjoy a mouth-watering selection from our wide array of delicious banquet offerings. Host your next event in the Bricks at the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. And we're back at Xavier High School. Craig Bowen along with you on Sports Faith YouTube. Thanks for tuning in tonight as the Xavier Hawks, no contest as they follow up a 35 point win back in December at Manasha. And they close this one out with a 23 point victory led by as many, unofficially anyway, by 38 I believe in this game as Manasha caught fire late actually with some of their bench players knocking down some threes. So the score Probably a little bit deceiving, actually. This game wasn't as close as even the 23 points would signify. But let's take a look at some final statistics first for the Manasha Blue Jays. And they were led by Josiah Hibbler 
as this team is littered with juniors and he's one of the good looking ones, six foot one junior, Josiah Hibbler with a dozen. So a good outing for Hibbler in this ball game and he had four rebounds uh, as well in this ball game. And Jean-Claude McComay along with Chase Lucas Savage. Lucas Savage, the freshman, all 11 in the second half. And McComay with 11 as well. Nine from Trey Lockridge. And the most impressive stat for him tonight is 12 rebounds as Lockridge first game action since game five against Xavier. So pretty solid outing for him. Nine points, 12 rebounds. Eight points each from Taden Wilkie, another freshman, and Levi Miller late off the bench. He finishes with eight. And three points each from Trevor DeBryan and Parker Wienant. Wienant well below his average. He came in averaging 11. And that was it, 67 points, 12 of 19 from the free throw line. And the Blue Jays... Were able to knock down eight threes, but they took 25 attempts. So eight out of 25 from deep in this ball game. And for the winners, the Xavier Hawks, it was Tyler Brightman, almost a new career high, finishes with 25 points as he had himself a ball game tonight. And a bunch of other guys contributed 11 from Hayden Quimby this evening to go along with six rebounds. 10 points from Sam Pfefferly tonight. And he had seven rebounds to go along with a good number of assists as well. And the Hawks get nine from the freshman Logan Ramchek off the bench this evening and seven each from Luke Kroll and Luke Olhafen. Luke Kroll with four rebounds this evening, as did Luke Olhafen. So seven and four for, for excuse me, Olhafen and Kroll. And four points tonight from Reed Hippus off the bench. Luke Olhafen got the start this evening and three points each from Cole Hippus, Jonah Gentry, and Isaiah Disjardins and two each from Joe Gallucci, Matthew Potter, and Eli Mares to close out their scoring. 90 big ones for the Hawks tonight. They average 75. So that number is going to bump up just a little bit. The Hawks 7 of 10 from the free throw line tonight. So a solid evening from the charity stripe. And the Hawks knock down 11 Three-pointers tonight out of 23 attempts. So very solid, right around 50% from distance tonight. And the Hawks with a narrow rebounding edge this evening. 32-30 was the final count on the glass this evening as the Hawks get it done tonight and they move to... 14-1 and one overall. They are now 8-0 in the Bay, and they are a half a game behind the West Appear Phantoms. And, of course, the Phantoms come in here on Thursday night. And how fun will that one be right there? Two teams playing very well. So that should be high energy in here on Thursday night as the Menasha Blue Jays fall to 6-11. And three and five in the Bay Conference for Dylan Wirtz and his Blue Jay team. One last shout out real quickly to our great sponsors. And it starts with North Star Dental Group. Locations in Appleton and in Sheboygan. And by Cheryl Quimby Real Estate. Keller Williams Group of the Fox Cities. By the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley Family Fund Center. Tonight's game brought to you by OSMS, by Card and Coin Corner, Packers City Antiques, by Mr. Reinebo's Cookies, 
by Let Me Be Frank Productions. Head over to MeyerTheater.org and get your show tickets today. And by Pfefferly Management and NAI Pfefferly by Kingpin Pizza. If you're looking for a school fundraiser, give them a call, 920-265-1900. And by PRN Home Health and Therapy. By Forefront Dermatology by Gallagher's Pizza of Green Bay, De Pere, Alloway, and Swamico. And by the Xavier Booster Club, proud supporter of all Xavier High School sports teams and athletes. And go Hawks. By Jeff's Water Conditioning and Greenville Plumbing. Best price, best service, best choice. Give them a call today, 920-757-9732. And the driveway, of course, 1220 Flightway Drive, devoted to helping kids become the best version of themselves on and off the court through old school work ethic and new school methods. So that'll do it from Xavier tonight on Sports Faith YouTube. I want to thank my camera guy tonight, Jude Gentry, helping out on the broadcast once again. And your final once again on the OSMS scoreboard, Xavier 90, Manasha 67. That'll do it. We'll talk to you in less than 48 hours right back here to be West of Pier and Xavier. Thank you very much for watching. You've been watching Hawks basketball on Sports Faith YouTube. Good night, everybody.